Good evening. We're about nine minutes behind schedule, but uh, we were a little behind schedule starting our warm-up because we still had to go riding the call time. But these are one of the things that we're working on. So um, thank you all for being here, for joining us for our 2023 winter concert. Um, So, um, I'm Sean Jenkins. Uh, I'm the band director here at Magnolia Junior High School. My 22nd year here. Um, this is our Magnolia Junior High School concert. Um, we have a rather ambitious program for you this evening. Um, we have a lot of material. Um, that these guys were required to learn, which is what we're here to do. We're here to learn how to learn, right? We're here to learn how to play our instruments better. We're here to learn and improve our musicianship. We're here to learn how to read, and the only way to learn how to read is by reading. So we have a lot of reading material. So we've done a lot of work since August, um, and we hope you learn program. We're going to start off with one of our favorites. This is our arrangement of Leroy Anderson's Layla.
Well, a few introductions. You've already met, met our wonderful high school band director. This is Mr. Doug Bowden. And it's Mr. Doug is a pillar of the community. He's not only been at Chino for 32 years, he was also at Magnolia for six. So he has been a Chino Valley Unified School District teacher for 38 years here in the Valley. Uh, we're very, very proud to have you. Um, how many of you were a student of Mr. Bowden? No, you guys are cheating here. Yeah, so we've got a couple. So, so yeah. Uh, I'd also like to acknowledge um, our administrative team here, our principal, in his first full year, he came in halfway through the year last year, Mr. Joseph Duarte. <laughs> and our seventh grade assistant principal, Katie Grinsteiner. Ms. Grinsteiner now, so to be Mrs. Bro. Okay, so we got these people. Our next, um, our next piece is a collection of songs from the uh, film The Polar Express.
So, if uh, you were with us last year, you might notice that um, there's been a little bit of an expansion of the group. Um, if you were with our group last year, if you were with our group last year, stand up right now. If you were with our group last year, stand up. If you were in our group last year, stand up. If you were in our group last year, stand up. Okay? So these are our eighth graders. These are our returning eighth graders. Okay? Not all of them. These are our returning eighth graders. So these are, the, these are the people that we had in our group last year. Okay? All right. And every single one of them is going to go to Chino. Every single one of them is going to be in the band. And it's going to be awesome. Okay? All right. So go ahead and sit. Okay. If you are new to our group this year, if you are new to our group this year, stand up. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so yeah, we've got quite a few new players this year. Um, some of them, yeah, they're all seven players. Okay, these are all new people to our group. Okay, so we've got a lot of new things to learn, and we're all working hard for making progress. So, yeah, so these are our first year members. So, okay, yeah, good. So, these are our first year members. Yeah, so, we've got a lot of things kind of um, that we're going through and we're learning. Um, Again, we start in August. We're learning how to do this band thing. And we're learning how to do it better. So, you know, things like, you know, how we how we conduct how we do rehearsal, you know, like making sure we're there, making sure we're there on time, making sure that we work on our music at home so we show up to rehearsal prepared. So these are all things that we're looking at, okay? So, yeah, and we've made quite a bit of progress. And the whole thing is, in about, let's see, January, February, March, when we get up to our festival season, we will have grown even more. So like, skill wise, right? So the thing here at Magnolia is we don't learn songs, right? I don't say, well, here's your part, right? No, we learn how to play the instrument. We learn about tone production and intonation and blending balance and all of those types of things. We learn, you know, how to name the notes. You know, we learn about key signatures. We learn how to read. We're working on learning how to learn parts, right? Because they don't teach songs. They teach musicianship, right? That's what we learn here at Magnolia. So, again, a lot of material to read, a lot of material to work on, a lot of material to learn, right? So, that's what we're doing. Um, our next piece, um, this is another piece that you will hear in the spring. And um, again, I you kind of use this as kind of like a year-long bench one because I I have long-term goals, right? Our long-term goals are to see how far we can learn, how far we can grow, how much we can learn. Yeah? So you will hear this one again in the spring. Okay? So this is a march. It's called um, Peacemaker. Um, and it's by Carl Elkin, uh, one of the big names in... Uh, in um, marches, uh, not the biggest thing that's coming right in. So, um, this is the Peacemaker Man. Go! 
morning. So um, I've been here for 22 years, but this is actually my 27th year of teaching. Um, I did five years in high school and four for life. Um, so, can I teach junior high? What do they say? Um, I can't, but I don't forget my boys. It's been fun. I've met a lot of great people, a lot of great kids, and I've learned a lot. Um, but in all my 27 years, um, this year was the very first year that uh, I was asked to uh, have a student teacher. So we were, we were blessed to have a wonderful young student from Azusa Pacific University. Um, this is Ms. C.J. Donahoe. And by the way, she's absolutely amazing. She is a wonderful musician. She is much more patient than us. But then again, I've been doing this for quite a um, but she's been wonderful with the students, she's a wonderful musician, and uh, she's been an absolutely amazing teacher, and uh, she's been having some really good really students together. But she is coming up and she's going to conduct the Carol of the Bell. This is a traditional uh, Christmas Carol. It's a folk tune, uh, very, very familiar, and we hope you enjoy it. This is the Carol of the Bell, conducted by Ms. C.J. Young. Work with them and get to know them. And I'm really, really proud of them. And I'm so thankful that I've been able to spend this 
as this thing over here. Um, this last Saturday, uh, we had a little bit of fun. Who was able to go out on Riverside Central and enjoy the Christmas parade? Awesome. Did you see us? How do we do? We have our percussionist coming over to the, uh, the marching percussion. And hold on a moment.
So that's that's our case. So they did they put a bit of work in on that, so it felt it was kind of important to show them off a little bit. So how they do. Good group of kids that's working really hard. We actually got a couple of people that are new to the percussion section over the last like three or four weeks, so we've been working hard to work them in. But um, yeah, this group's come a long way since August, and that will keep getting better. So um, Merry Christmas is next. This is the tune that we did um, on the parade group. Um, theoretically, it should sound a whole heck of a lot better since we're sitting. And have so this is uh, a collection of Christmas carols. This is Deck the Hall, Look Come All You Faithful, and um, Angels We Have Heard Online. Okay. things with this, and it's kind of a mashup. It's 
kind of a mashup. And it's uh, actually it was arranged by a man by the name of Robert Becky Smith, who is a very well-respected and highly renowned uh, composer and arranger for concert bands, and who we also unfortunately lost very recently. Um, a very talented individual gone way too young. Um, but what he did was he took jingle bells amongst a few other things. Very much recognizable <coughs> winter songs because Jingle Bells really is not a Christmas song. Either, you know. It's actually it's actually a Thanksgiving song. So it's not really a Christmas song. But he took one of these one of the most famous winter songs, Jingle Bells, and he mashed it up with the most famous march in the history of the universe, written by the most famous American composer. However, you know, in my opinion, John Williams kind of gives him a way to his money, but he predates John Williams. Actually, didn't you say the other night that he died the same year John Williams was born? So he left us as we were getting John Williams, so that's a point. Nice. But John Philip Sousa, who was the March King, right? was a rock star, basically, before rock star. He actually, he headed the uh, Marine Band for many years, and then he actually formed his own professional band that toured the entire world. And they were very, very famous. So, what Mr. Smith did was he took Jingle Bells, among some other famous Christmas tunes, and combined them with John Philip Sousa's Stars and Stripes Forever, and what we got is Jingle Bells.
And back over to the drugs for the last time. Uh, off the program. Um, so, August, September, October, November, and here we are mid December. So, we've been together four and a half, almost five months. Um, these kids have been, I, I, I make them work, you know, um, because the fun, the quote unquote fun, or I actually like to look at it more of the joy, comes from working hard and learning and then realizing how far you've come. It's much more, that's what it comes from. That's why we do it. Um, and, you know, you know, just kind of think back to back in August when your kid first brought that horn home. Yeah. Or even, let's go back a little bit further. In, in elementary school, when, the first kid, when your kid first brought that instrument home, what did it sound like? I've had three kids go through elementary school. Our youngest, right, our youngest is here right now, Michael. He's a, he's a sophomore. I'm going to because my, my wife is at work, so she's not able to be here, so I have to embarrass someone. Um, this is, see, he's, he, he's the one that's blushing, shaking his head, saying, no, 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 um, over here on the end. Uh, he's a sophomore tuba player. I'm going to die for a um, But he's a sophomore in Mr. Calvin's band, um, playing tuba, and he is going to be, uh, along with, I'm going to recognize you all if you're up here, um, we have a group of students from Chino that auditioned for the Tournament of Roses Honor Band and they will be performing on January 1st in Pasadena, with Pasadena City College for the Tournament of Roses Honor Band. If you're here, stand up. All of you that are prepared. Thank you. Thank you. There are 10 kids from Chino. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is open to all of the high schools in Southern California. And they only take about 250 kids. Okay, they only take about 250 kids. And out of those 250 kids, 10 of them came from Chino. We work really hard with our kids, we challenge our kids. Our kids go to Chino and they do amazing things. So um, that's why we do uh, The hard work is worth it. So just, again, I think back to you know, my kids first, well, they grew up around this, so it's kind of not the same thing. But still, the first time your kid brings the horn home and they go all the way through, and now they're going to be marching to those train, right? So think about when your kids that are sitting here, where they started, where they are right now. And keep that in mind because when you see and hear us again uh, in March, I want you to notice how much even more they grow. So with that, I think we're all set. Um, this is our final piece for the, for the evening, as it is with every concert. Um, this is Mustang.